sa edukasyong hatid sa bawat tahanan walang iwanan because we learn as one Hello, Teacher Mitch! Oh, you're here! You're just in time for our lesson today! Hello, everyone! How are you today, children? Parents, guardians, teachers, and other people watching us! I am Teacher Mitch! Hi! I am Adarai! Hello! I am Kuya Al! Welcome back to We Learn as One, My TV School! Children, Aterai and Kuya Al, let us start our lesson for today with a short video without words. Let us watch it together and use words to describe it later. Okay, Teacher Mitch! Ate Ryan Kuya Al, tell me what happens first in the video. Children, share your answers with your family members too. Well, the cat is up in a tree and could not move. It looks like it is in trouble. That is right. The cat is stuck in the branches up in a tree. When someone or something is stuck, it cannot move. I am going to spell stuck and then repeat after me. S T U C K Stuck S T U C K Stuck When I was a little boy, my hand got stuck in a jar when I was trying to get a cookie. I could not move my hand at all. That is a great use of the word stuck, Kuya Al. Children, use the word stuck in a sentence too. So, the cat is stuck in between branches that are... The branches are very thin and shaky. They look like they are about to break. Wow, Aterai! You just used our next word. Break! B R E A K Break! B R E A K Break! Break means to cause something to be in pieces. The cat must be too heavy for the thin branches. It is lucky that the branches did not break. I know. I was not so lucky before. I dropped a glass by accident and I saw it break into pieces. Oh no! Accidents like that happen. Let us go back to the video. What happens next? Some children come and they throw stones and laugh at the cat. Those are not nice things to do, not to people, and not even to animals. When we say or do something that is not nice or is hurtful, we are being mean. Let us spell mean. M-E-A-N Mean M-E-A-N Mean then, an old lady comes and talks to the children. 
What do you think she says to them? It looks like she's asking the kids not to be mean to the cat. And the cat needs to be able to go down. Aha! Uh -huh. But the cat is stuck. It cannot go down on its own. It needs... Help! We, we can, can spell help, teacher Mitch. H-E-L-P Help! An older boy comes to help the cat, teacher Mitch. The children help too by calling the boy. My mother and father do a lot of work around the house. They help each other. I help them too. What a nice thing to do, Kuya Al. Now, an older boy comes with a ladder, climbs up on it, and takes the cat. The boy comes to save the cat. S A V E Save Save means to keep someone or something safe from harm or danger. Just like the boy came to save the cat. Let us spell save together. S A V E Save What happens in the end of our video? The cat brushes its head against the hands of the boy. And then it happily runs away. What makes the cat able to run away? It, it is, is no, no longer, longer stuck in a tree. Excellent! The cat is able to run away because it is no longer stuck in the tree and can move. The cat is now free. F R E E Free! Let us spell free together. F R E E Free! Children, join me, Aterai and Kuya Al, in reading the words we just learned. Stop! Break! Mean! Help! Save! Free! Thank you for helping us learn new words, Teacher Mitch. You are welcome. Teacher Mitch? I see... There's something new in our classroom. A fishbowl! I knew you would notice. Come here. These are goldfish. They look beautiful. And they look so happy together. But what is the net for? I use the net to scoop the goldfish out when I clean the bowl. I use it to return them in the bowl after cleaning as well. Do you know of other water animals like my goldfish here? Hmm, I do, Teacher Mitch. I know parrotfish. It is my favorite. Did you know that their teeth look like a bird's beak? That is why they are called parrotfish. It lives in the sea. That is interesting. I love the octopus. I love that they have eight strong legs that they use to get food or to fight their enemies. How about you, children? What animals do you know of that live in water? Which of them do you like the most? Um, Teacher Mitch, why do we have a fishbowl with goldfish today? Are we going to talk about water animals? Well, you are about to find out because it is time for... Story Corner! Children and everyone watching us, sit back and enjoy reading with us! Aterai and Kuya Al, will you help me read our story for today? Of course, Teacher Mitch! Reading is fun! This is our story for today. Point two, and read the title with me, everyone. Loro Gets Stuck! The 
authors are Nathalie Luje and Suzanne Simard. The illustrator is Hannah Manaligod. What do you see on the cover? I see an octopus, my favorite. I see a parrotfish. There are other sea animals, but I do not know what they are called. There is also a net, but it looks a lot bigger than your net, Peter Mitch. I wonder who it belongs to and what it is for. I have seen a net like that before. It is used by fisher folks. What if the animals get caught in it? Oh no! That would be a problem, Ate Rai. Like in most stories, there is a problem that needs to be solved in Loro Get Stuck. Let us read to find out what the problem is and how it gets solved. Chapter 1 Sup Sup felt bad. He knew he should help Loro. But Loro was not kind. Loro was mean. What do you think Sup Sup will do? Sup Sup swam to see Pogita the octopus. Loro is stuck in a net. We have to help him. Pogita nodded his big head. I know what to do, he replied. Now children, what is the problem in the story? Loro is stuck in a net. That is right. Let us find out how that problem is going to be solved. Pugita and Sapsap -Sap swam to Loro. I will save you, Pugita said. I have eight long legs that can pull on the ropes of the net. Pugita took his long legs and pulled. He pulled on the ropes. Oh no! His long legs were tied up in a knot. Just then, Gabby the seabird flew by. I will save you. Gabby said, I have a big sharp beak. I will peck at the ropes. Gabby pecked the ropes. He pecked and pecked. But the ropes did not break. Both Pogita and Gabi have failed to save Loro. Who do you think will help Loro next? Just then, Tahong, the mussel, burrowed out of the sand. I will save you! Tahong said. I have two strong shells. I will burrow into the ropes. Tahong burrowed into the ropes. He burrowed and burrowed. But the ropes did not break. How will Loro be freed? Some animals have already tried to help Loro, but... They all have failed. Who else will help free Loro? And how will they do it? Let us continue to... 
Chapter 2 Sub Sub swam to find more help. He spotted Bia, the goby fish. Bia was stuck to a stone. He was eating sea moss. Sub Sub swam to him. He asked Bia to help him free Loro. Bia stopped eating. He spoke very slowly. I have a big mouth that can suck sea moss. I will suck on the ropes and gob it up. Bia sucked on the ropes. He sucked and sucked. But the ropes did not break. Just then, Tambakol, the tuna, swam by. He saw Loro stuck in the net. I will save you. Tambakol said, I have a huge fin. I will hit the ropes. Tambakol hit the ropes. He hit and hit. But the ropes did not break. They were all sad. They could not help free Loro. Loro had no hope. How will he survive? Thank you for reading with me, Ate Ryan Kuya Al. You're welcome, Teacher Mitch. This first half of our story ends with the question, How will Loro survive? Survive means to stay alive, especially in times of danger and difficulties. Ah, Loro is in danger because he is caught in a net. What makes being caught in a net dangerous? If one is caught in a net, one cannot move around to get food or to run away from enemies. Oh no! I am worried for Loro now. What will happen to him? How will he survive? Now, the problem is clear. Loro is stuck in a net. He needs to be freed to survive. Sometimes, a problem gets solved with only one try. Sometimes, different solutions need to be tried. I have an idea! Let us recall the different solutions the animals try to solve Laura's problem. If the solution I say is correct, shout yes! If the solution I say is incorrect, shout no! And then, say the correct solution. Are you ready? Yes, Teacher Mitch! Number 1 Pugita, the octopus, tries to free Loro by pulling on the ropes of the net. Yes! Very good! Number 2 Gabi, the seabird, tries to save Loro by burrowing into the ropes of the net. No! A seabird does not burrow! Gabi tries to save Loro by pecking at the ropes. Good catch, Ate Ryan Kuya Al! 
Number three, tahong, the mussel, helps Loro by burrowing into the ropes of the net. Yes! Very good! Number four, Bia, the goby fish, tries to solve Loro's problem by hitting the ropes of the net with his huge fin. Yes! You have different answers. Hmm. How do we solve this problem? We can talk about it. Ah. Let us try that again. Bia, the goby fish, tries to solve Loro's problem by hitting the ropes of the net with his huge fin. No! Bia's fin is a little small for the ropes. He might end up getting hurt himself. Then, he will surely have a big problem of his own. You are right, Ate Rai. Bia tries to suck on the ropes of the net, but the ropes do not break. Ate Rai and Kuya Al, you solved your problem with just one try. Bye. Talking it out, I am proud of you. Thank you, Teacher Mitch! Number 5 Tambakol, the tuna, tries to save Loro by hitting on the ropes of the net until they break. Yes! That is it! We are done with our game! Yay! That was another fun game, Teacher Mitch! Five animals try lots of different solutions to Loro's problem. But sadly, they all fail. Teacher Mitch and Aterai, we are forgetting one animal. This animal is the first one to help Loro by looking for other animals who can free Loro. He helps Loro even though Loro is sometimes mean. Sup, sup! The Sleep Mouth Fish! Now you remember! I wonder who else will help Loro and how will they do it? I think a story is interesting when the characters try lots of different ways to solve the problem. I agree with you, Kuya Al. I cannot wait to read the rest of the story. How about you, children? Are you excited to read the next part of the story with us? At the end of chapter 2, the animals are all sad. After trying many ways to help Loro and failing each time, they have no hope that they will ever be able to free Loro. When one does not have hope, one does not believe good things can happen anymore. That is sad! I believe there is always hope! I like that, Kuya Al! I believe that too! And besides, the story is not yet finished. There must be more animals who can help Loro in a lot of different ways. Why don't we guess who will help Loro solve his problem next? What solutions will they try? Hmm. Maybe Ulang the Lobster will come and crush the ropes of the net with its strong claws. How about Pating, the shark? I bet it can cut the ropes of the net with its sharp teeth. You have great imagination, Ate Rai and Kuya Al. How about you, children? What are your guesses? Write and draw them at home. Then, we will check which of our guesses are correct in the next episode. I have more guesses to add here. Me too! Alright, Ate Rai and Kuya Al. Now, look at these words. What is common or the same among these words? They all have O. Oh. Great! Let us read the words together. 
Octopus. Not. Stop. What sound of O do you hear in these words? Octopus. Not. Stop. I hear O. Oh. Excellent. Teacher Mitch, we also have O in Filipino. It has the sound O, oh, just like in these words. You are correct. Can you give me examples of Filipino words with O? Loro Teacher Mitch, one of the characters in our story. It has two letter O's. Loro. Tahong. Another character. It only has one O. Tahong. What else? Tambakol. This fish has one O in his name. Tambakol. Octopus. Not. Stop! Loro! Tahong! Tambakol! The O sound that you hear in them are all short O. Let us say the sound of short O together. O! Now, I have more words with O. I will read them first for you. Rope Stone Hope Now, Aterai Kuya Al and children, please read together. Rope Stone Hope hmm, I see letter O's, but when I read the words, I do not hear the short O sound. I agree, Aterai. I hear O. I knew you would notice the difference, Aterai and Kuya Al. The letter O in these words makes no long O sound. Now, look at the words carefully again. In these words is a clue that tells us the letter O sound is long. I know! There is an E at the end of each of these words. I see the E as well, but I do not hear its sound. That is because the E in these words is silent. Silent E makes the vowel say its name. Ah! Remember! The letter O makes different sounds in English. Now, I have some mixed up O words here. Help me sort them into these two boxes. Read the words. Place the word to the left if it is a short O word. Let us read it together. Stop! Place the word to the right if it is a long O word. Please help me read it. Rope. Aterai and Kuya Al, do you want to try it? Yes, Teacher Mitch. Stone. I want this. Nod. Gobi. Try the last long O, Kuya Al. All right. Hope. And the last word is not. Good job sorting the words at the Ryan Kuya Al. Let us read our short O words. Stop. Nod. Octopus. Not. Now, let us read our long O words. Rope. Stone. Gobi. 
hope. Children, what other short or long O words can you think of? Write them in the correct column. We are coming to the end of our class today. Before we go, I have two things for you to do at home. First, practice reading chapters 1 and 2 of Loro Get Stuck to one or more family members at home. Remember, reading takes practice. And the more you practice, the easier reading becomes. That is right, Aterai! And then second, think of a problem that you had to solve before. Maybe you lost a toy. Maybe a friend's bicycle broke. It is up to you! Draw and write about the problem in the first box. In the second box, draw and write about how you tried to solve the problem. Did you solve the problem on the first try? Or did you have to try many times? Should you need help with your homework, go ahead and ask your family members and teachers for help. Remember, here at my TV school, we learn as one!